All right, how you guys doing? This is uh, Solomon's Outdoor Reviews. I'm doing a quick expansion and penetration test of the Federal Power Shock 357 Mag 180 grain jacketed hollow point. This is the Power Shock. When I ran it through the Crony, I got from 1480 to 1510, 15, 15 feet per second, so about an average of 1500 feet per second. Just like the Remington 180. Uh, one thing I've noticed with this one is that the tips are more uniform. Uh, the lead almost seems a little bit harder than the Remington. The Remington tips seem softer because a lot of them are bent and not as uniform in the package. I got uh, six water jugs lined up like usual, shooting at 20 yards, and we're going to see how it does. And hopefully we capture the bullet. All right, let's do this. All right, I just wanted to show you guys one of the uh, rounds before I shoot. You can see that compared to the Remington, the hollow point's larger. It's a little bit deeper. And if you, and uh, one thing I liked about these is that all the tips are the same. None of them are bent in. Anything like that. But the velocity is the same, and it's the same 180 grain bullet. But maybe this would improve accuracy, I don't know, I'm going to have to play with it at 100 yards and see how it does. First time I've ever uh, had this type of round before. Um, I've had it before, but I've never tried it in like as far as accuracy goes. So, Alright, as always, I'm using my h &R rifle. And... Let's do this. All right, you guys, how I came up on it. This is jug one, looks like. I'm gonna see where I hit it. Pretty good uh, energy transfer there. Jug two. I don't see any lead yet. Well, little pieces and jug through tiny, tiny pieces. The only difference in my testing between this and the Remington today is cold. It's cold, it was 30 degrees. The other day it was like 60. This is jug three. Some energy transfer. I don't see. And jug four. Looks like it went through jug four too, but there's some jack there's some piece of a bullet in there and there's something in jug five. Which is different. So there's pieces it went into jug five and it looked like you can see it kind of bent through jug five a little bit. There's like a little indentation compared to the Remington. And there's a little if you can see down in there, there's some copper jacket pieces of the bullet in there and then in jug five there's also some pieces of the bullet so I'm going to try to get both of those out so we can see what we're dealing with here all right looks like we had jacket separation that's what's left of the lead part of the bullet Huh. That's different. The Remington held together. One thing about this bullet, I I read it's marketed as deer, as a deer hunting bullet. The Remington HTP is more is marketed as a uh, self defense round, and that's what's left of the the jacket. That's surprising. I figured this would be almost identical to the Remington. The Remington actually looked better. Weird. Anyways, we had about five jugs of penetration. Uh, but for this one, you had a little bit of jacket separation. A little bit. It did separate completely. So you guys make your own assumptions. Use what you want to use. I'll try it out. And 
see if the, what's the difference. Alright you guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe.